the channel. On your screens, we are looking at the stock price of Clovis Oncology, and today the stock is down 5.48%. Uh, the stock is down 5.48% and trading at $1.55. Remember that previously the stock closed at $1.64 and optimistically today it opened at $1.74 but then it slowly declined until right now with barely about 50 minutes to the close of market. It is trading at a discount of 5.79% at $1.54. So, uh, Clovis Oncology uh, rose spectacularly uh, yesterday or two days ago, sorry, after news came out that they had um, very promising results for solid tumors uh, with one of their drug candidates. So Clovis Oncology is a biopharmaceutical company that focuses on acquiring, developing and commercializing anti-cancer agents in the United States europe and internationally so the company was incorporated in 2009 and is headquartered in boulder colorado so they have a very interesting uh, pipeline of products and one of their drug candidates which was undergoing testing uh, came back with some very very positive uh, results and that caused the stock to skyrocket and uh, today we see some cooling off uh, we can tell that it's not a sell-off, otherwise, I mean, the stock would have dropped more than 5%. However, what tells a better story is looking at the volume, which has exploded. The volume today is 28 million shares that have exchanged hands, compared to an average volume of 15 million shares. The 52-week range for Clovis Oncology is from $0.58 cents all the way up to $6.00. 65 cents so there's still a lot of headroom for clovis oncology to grow and uh of course like i said they have a very interesting pipeline of products and uh if you spread out to a month let's go to a month you guys can definitely see uh, what we've been talking about that uh, it looks like the market is now uh, trading mostly sideways you know horizontally it's no longer a deep or a steep rise and so what we expect to see in the coming weeks is that uh, coming days to weeks is that the stocks certain stocks on uh, leading uh, sectors will start rising and some may do so spectacularly so look carefully uh, in your portfolio and check what stocks seem to have been doing a little bit better or have slowed down the downward trajectory and those might be the leading indicators to tell you that the market is about to recover as with everything concerning the stock market please uh, proceed with caution if you are in doubt then enlist the help of a professional financial uh, advisor and they will guide you to achieve uh, the goals that you've uh, financial goals you've set for yourself so uh, all what we can tell you here is that we have a very strong feeling that uh, the equity market might be slowly uh might be slowing down the losses and in some certain uh, areas certain sectors it might actually be on an upward trend now be very careful because real estate is a lagging indicator so people who lost their jobs people who uh have to pull out their 401k and uh, they had only so much to survive on they might keep their homes for a while but uh, as time goes on and they deplete their resources, then they might pull their money from the market, uh, which might also put another stress on equities. And then you might have something happening in the real estate sector. This is just what I think. Uh, so uh, do your own due diligence, you know, run your numbers and then do your own analysis. And uh, let you can share with us what you think if you have a differing opinion. Uh, we are all always open and receptive to learn from one another. So uh, be very careful and uh, proceed with caution. But I think that uh, if you have some stocks that are severely battered, this might be the time to look uh, and see if it makes sense to drop in a few coins into those uh, equities. Thank you for your time. And again, like I said, uh, smash that subscribe button on your way out. Uh, we will keep monitoring and in case anything spectacular happens, then we will 
be right back to update you guys thanks for all those uh to all those who subscribed recently we are slowly growing and uh, hopefully we hit our 1000 subscriber mark by the midterm elections in november catch you guys on the next